ladies and gentlemen, here is a look at the Arrowhead Speedway located in Colcord, Oklahoma. And when you talk about nice facilities and dirt tracks here in the United States, Arrowhead would have to be towards the top of the list. This place is super impressive from the grandstands to the suites behind me. If you walk over this way, pit area, you can see all the 410 sprint cars, all the haulers, and it's completely paved. So they've done a great job building this place up. It sounded like it hasn't really always been like this. And now they're bringing in you know bigger shows and working on the racetrack and we got the world of outlaws and the greatest show on dirt here so it's going to be a good one for this year's jason johnson classic here's a more up close and personal look at the racing surface i probably say this a lot but i feel like this place has a lot of potential good size you know wide it's got banking it doesn't ever really get flat i could see how guys could run down low but also it could get right up on the wall our only real concerns right now are things out of our control and that is the wind because it is a little windy. Luckily, this is a shorter track and it's almost kind of down here below where the wind is hopefully gonna be more on top of us. Then also we have a small rain shower this evening. So it's just really important for a race like this honoring Jason Johnson. I know the Outlaws wanna do everything they possibly can to get it in and you know pay out the little bit of extra money that's gonna be in tonight's purse for the winner and down through the field. There's the water truck though, rolling on by. I really hope we get to race today. Wanna to keep building on what we're, we're doing with our own program here with the 18T. You know, we've had a tough start. Um, we're running some really hard shows, but we're gonna keep persevering, persevering, have our heads down and keep working. We just gotta keep racing to get to where we want to go. And that all starts with, you know, having speed right out of the gate. So another new racetrack, Arrowhead Speedway. Let's make it a good one. So shortly after looking at the track, it was neat. Jax Johnson actually stopped by my pit. Oh, there he is. Ready to go racing? Yeah. Ready? <laughs> Who's gonna get it done tonight? Uh, Who's your pick? Not to put you on the spot. I think Carson, probably. It was cool seeing him. He brought me a Jason Johnson Classic tape measure, and we took a picture by the car. Not long after that, it was time to get suited up and get ready for engine heat and qualifying. So we just got our night underway here at Arrowhead Speedway. Not gonna lie, we uh, we did not unload well to start tonight. Didn't feel great in hot laps. You know, I think our time was okay for when we went out. And then in qualifying, wasn't able to make the right adjustments to, to have any speed or improve. My main complaint is just, I feel like my car is not the most stable and it's it's hurting me to, to hit my marks. I needed to be a little bit more buried in the top and, and I had to get out of gas a little bit on entry one time and that hurt your speed. You just you got to rip around this place. This is a tiny joint and it got right up by the fence. You know, maybe a little bit, a little bit of good dirt in between the fence and where we were running, but definitely up there. And you know, there was speed in the racetrack to still run a lap when I went out. And I mean, I need to watch it back to critique it specifically, but uh, it just feels like when I'm going down the straightaway, when I get through the slick, like I'm just spinning so bad and I'm almost laid left. It's like the car's hard, feels hard to drive and, and stick. Cause it's almost like I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get my nose pointed where it, where it needs to go. So anyway, that was, uh, that's how our night started out. I think we were we were somewhere towards the back. So we're gonna be in the back of a heat race here. We're gonna make quite a few changes. At this point, we just take a big swing at it. Um, you know, I don't know, it's, it's just a few small complaints, but I feel like that was a huge difference in our time and could have put us in a different spot. So we'll go to work and uh, have a heat race coming up with five transferring.
So just finished up our heat race there. Uh, started seventh and finished seventh. Uh, didn't you know really didn't really do anything but run eight laps. Getting ready to go out for the B. We just kind of made some changes to our car. Man, I just feel like we're struggling tonight. Um, you know, mainly to get the balance to where I can feel like I can uh, kind of do my thing. A lot of it is everyone kind of just fighting for the high side. So it's a you know you gotta you gotta have your car to where you can run up there. And at the same time as you're trying to you know attain grip as the track is slick in spots, it also is you know thicker up there, and you got to be free enough to get around it. And I feel like maybe we're getting tight in spots, and it's hurting our corner speed. And, and then also I think I'm just trying to make up too much for it behind the wheel. Like you know I'm, I'm almost two up on the wheel. I need to settle down and try to just drive the thing smooth and, and make good laps and not make mistakes. Uh, it's hard when you get behind, man, because you're you're trying to do everything you can to get in the show. But now we got to go through a B main event. Like I said, I feel like right now we're just a tiny bit puzzled on exactly what direction to go with the car. And that's uh, that's part of this whole deal, man. It's, it's hard when you don't unload well. I, I tell you guys so much, you know, how, how important it is to unload and be fast right out of the gate. Otherwise, you're kind of chasing chasing around in circles to uh, to make it happen. They're really, uh, really working this thing, trying to prevent it from rubbering, rubbering this evening. The wind is, is just killing the track, and they actually, I thought, did a pretty good job getting water on it early in the night, but still, they gotta stay on top of it like they're doing. Yeah, John, uh, heavy, heavy damage uh, to the front end. Actually, the uh, axle completely snapping uh, right there, completely detached from the rest of the axle there at the right front. Uh, ripped the banners down here and ripped the banners down here in turns three and four. A lot of damage to the front end, wing stirrup as well, right rear tire flat. That was a hard hit for Tanner Holmes. Uh, it is the uh, next morning we just drove from where we were at at the track uh, over to kind of the area we're gonna be in for the week I apologize I did not have it really in me to uh, to talk yesterday after after what happened we actually spent 
basically from the moment I, I crashed, they got the car off the track, um, back here in the pit area between, you know, a couple of us just stripping the whole entire car down to basically there's just an engine in it. Uh, my seat is not mounted, but it's it's in the car still. Uh, the steering box and the floor pan and like, you know, a couple small things like the, the torque ball and the, the U-joint where it sticks through. You can see like all the housing, the housing motor plate. But other than that, like everything else is, is off the car and kind of spread out. And a lot of it got left at the track, what was junk. So that's kind of the situation there. It's never a good sign when you, we literally, we got you know maybe eight guys and we carried the frame in with the engine in the car it's obviously really heavy still with the engine and then we'll get the engine out and finish stripping down the frame um, I'm a hundred percent I feel good I'm you know I'm the same person I was before the crash I'm very lucky that I was uh, uninjured you know sprint car racing is very very dangerous I feel like I haven't even watched the video back I don't really want to watch a video back but um, that was definitely one of my you know my better hits I feel like or more of decent flips wild rides I, I don't even know. I just know I was going through the air. I caught the fence on the back stretch and um, ended up in the center of turn three and four. And the whole thing, you know, just, uh, you know, kind of with the situation, just upset with myself. Like I made a, I made a really dumb mistake. Um, you know, they were racing kind of hard in front of me there and I, I wasn't really sure what to do. And I feel like also I was upset with myself because, you know, I kind of, you know, this is a good lesson for all you young kids watching this happens, but you know, my mistake too was I let my bad night get to me probably and then I wasn't racing as good as I needed to. You know, I was a little frustrated with my car. I really wasn't, couldn't figure out the track. I, I just didn't feel like I was very balanced. And, and so then, you know, you're second guessing what you're doing and you're second guessing your on track decisions. And even like when I was behind those guys, they're racing, like instead of just like do, making a decision and going with it, like I felt like I was kind of stuck. And so therefore my focus was off of, you know, how to pass them as far as I was actually watching them because I thought they were gonna crash and then I ended up crashing. So like I, like I said, I just, I let my bad day uh, that I was having instead of just, you know, it's just part of it, you know. The, you know, it's really hard what we're doing, man, and and trying to get our our own program where uh, where we want it and where we need to be in a new racetrack. And yesterday, like I said, I just didn't I just didn't feel like we had really good balance, and 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 that kind of hurt us from the beginning of the night. So, like I said, it was my fault and my bummer that I, you know wasn't able to turn that around um, and I and I take the I take responsibility for that and I feel bad for you know all, all of Carly and Blake and my parents and um, and all of our great partners you know we have a lot of people that put a lot into this program and uh, it's unfortunate for a night like that to kind of spiral but at the end of the day stuff's replaceable we will um, we'll fix it and you know it's just um, one of those bumps in the road as we're getting our season going at the end of the day like I said things happen and we're gonna keep moving forward and we're still looking to make 2024 our best season yet. And a lot of that just comes with running races, getting rolling, having that one good night, building confidence, um, dialing in our race car. You know, I feel like even though we've had these hard moments, there's been some positives to our couple of race nights that I see the potential and I know that what we can do is just, <laughs> when you're running with the greatest show on dirt, man, you gotta be so perfect. Um, but can't thank you guys enough. I really do have some of the greatest people behind me and for that, I'm so thankful. We'll keep digging, we're gonna keep our heads down, we're gonna keep working, and um, I know we have good things ahead in 2024. The the saying is winners are just losers that never gave up and um, we're not going to give up. See you guys in the next one. Deuces.